Hey everybody, Silver back here. Um, just to update everybody as to what's happening, uh, they did release that letter today, and it looks like all the information that we heard yesterday is in fact the same information that they confirmed today. Um, now it is still just a draft. Um, they're giving us, they're giving us, you know, graciously as they are, uh, <laughs> giving us a 14-day comment period to where we can go to the ATF website and comment on what we feel and what we think about what they're doing with this whole pistol brace situation. So, and to kind of clear things up a little bit, uh, because I, I, a lot of people are asking, so if you register your braced pistol as a SBR, which is what they're what they want everybody to do, um, who owns them, um, can you just put a stock on it? Well, yes. If if you register it um, as a SBR with the NFA ATF Act thing there that they got going on with this total BS, if you ask me. <laughs> um, it, it's this is irking me big time um, <clears throat> but because you already have the tax stamp and they're gonna as long as it was in that configuration before the whole thing comes to fruition becomes rule or law or whatever um, as long as it was in that configuration beforehand you do not have to pay the $200 tax stamp so they're so once you have that tax stamp for that particular pistol after that you don't need a tax stamp if you just want to nix the brace and put a stock on it so you're good there <laughs> because you already have the tax stamp for that pistol um <clears throat> the next thing is which i think is even sillier is that they're going after solvent traps. Um, yes, solvent traps do, at least the ones they advertise. Like, you see them all the time. I don't know if you're on Facebook, but you see all the advertisements. They were for a while. I think it was a sting set up by the ATF to see if they could catch anybody buying one to use as a suppressor, <laughs> which is just plain and simple everybody's laughing at them going yeah this is a setup blah 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 you know um because they are suppressors they look just like a suppressor the internals are all the same it's got the outside sleeving on it the only thing you have to do is drill a hole in one end and i believe some of them come with uh adapters so you can cover both ends one to screw onto the end of the barrel and one to screw on that has a hole in it the size you might need for the caliber you're caliber oil that you're putting through it <laughs> so if you got some five five six weight oil you know they got the right hole size for that <laughs> so they're coming fast they're coming hard um it's the pistol braces uh the polymer 80s uh you know polymer 80s just got raided by the atf um they're getting a lot of information from uh the, the customer information, I believe, from what I've been told or heard, uh, that the ATF got from Polymer 80 wasn't from Polymer 80. It was from stamps.com and some other source. Um, this is giving the information up. So because uh, Polymer 80 uses stamps.com to ship their products to you. So stamps.com gave them a list of everybody who was on the mailing list through stamps.com um that i haven't really dug into i heard that from a reliable source so that's where i'm keeping it <laughs> but uh you know so 14 days gracious time period right around the holidays you know I, and you know if you don't think this was done by design you got to be kidding yourself a little bit because 
they thought they would go ahead and put it out right around the holidays because everybody's distracted with the holidays and Christmas and everything else that they wouldn't be paying attention and they wouldn't have time to comment or, you know, less people would be commenting on what they're doing in this 14 day uh, comment period. So, um, go to the ATF website. I believe that's where you got to go. Uh, I haven't found that out yet. Uh, but that's more than likely probably where you got to go. It, um, there's probably going to be something up over there where, you know, you can make your comments, fill out the section and, you know, tell them, eh, you know, this is basically what we need to tell them. So with that being said, let's just keep our eyes and ears open, stay vigilant. We got 14 days from today when they release this drafted letter. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to change it a hundred times in between now and then. So that way, by the time the comment period's over, nobody knows which end is up. And, you know, there'll be so many loose ends that they won't even know how to tie them up. Uh, but they leave everything open to interpretation so they can make up things as they go along. Uh, you know, that's how our wonderful government works for us, uh, you know, especially the ATF. They're, they are the biggest troublemakers of the government right now, really, is the ATF. And they've been for a long time. So, <clears throat> all right, with that being said, I don't really want to put out a very long video on this. Um, check out John Crump. Uh, Guns and Gadgets did a great video on explaining the breakdown of this ATF letter. So go check out that video. Uh, just search Guns and Gadgets on YouTube and it'll pop up. <laughs> Um, and there's a ton of great articles out there about that. So, uh, I will also leave a link in the description below, uh, where you can download the documents, the, the drafted letter, so you can read it yourself. All right. And, uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, this is just info that I've come by. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a million percent true or whatever, but there's something there and we just got to work with it and find out as things start to unfold a little more what's going on. So everybody take care, stay vigilant, stay safe, and have fun.